Oh, that is a beautiful spot. I get a lot of great pictures of the Butte and from the Butte. And uh, it's going to be some snow up on the Butte, I believe, on Sunday morning. We do have a winter storm warning in effect. It is September. This does not happen uh, ever uh, for the area shaded in pink on your screen. Now, these very impressive snowfall totals up to 18 inches in uh, northern Idaho are above where most folks live, above 3,000 feet. That is where you're going to find the heavier snow accumulations. However, expect some snow falling down at the valley level, a slushy, melty snow. It shouldn't stick uh, to the roadways because they are so warm and the sun angle is such that it should melt it without any problem. But there may be that transition period before it melts that you could have some problems on the roadways. And the winds are a second part of this storm's equation that cannot be overlooked, particularly in North Idaho, where there is a wind advisory for tomorrow for those gusts up to 55 miles per hour. I expect that there will be some power outages in that area and tree lines down, or trees down, rather. Uh, so we are going to be uh, watching this area very closely for problems with the wind in addition to that wet weather that we're going to be getting because once the precipitation starts again overnight. It is going to be continuing right on through the weekend. Here's what's going on. Our weekend outlook and unseasonably cold upper level low has settled in over the region and will be with us through the beginning of next week and potentially beyond. But the uh, precipitation will be almost continuous through Sunday with very little breaks and falling in a variety of forms and uh, that colder air with temperatures about 20 degrees below average. Here's a look now at our seven day forecast. I have a three on our weather impact scale as our scale of one to five and how that is going to be impacting your life in North Idaho may even have to take that up because of the winds. It is going to be windy through the weekend with a frost early next week.